Do you remember the uh, last week uh, on uh, Monday? I gave you this uh, cylind cylindrical capacitor, okay? And the uh, cylindrical capacitor, I believe, had inside of it a dielectric material. So look back at your notes, okay? And take a look at that. Uh, tell me what the dimensions of that was. I think it was like 0 .1 millimeter, 0 0.8 millimeter, right? I don't remember the length. What was the length? Three, oh, 3.2 centimeter, right? And it was filled with a dielectric material of kappa equals uh, what? 6.7? Okay, this time let me change it around a little bit. Let me say it's filled with a dielectric material of 6.7 up to, up to uh, let's say, Six point seven up to a distance of let's say this whole thing is three point two and this thing is one point eight centimeters. This one is one point four centimeters. And then this material is dielectric constant uh, ten point five. Okay, so now find the total capacitance of that cylindrical capacitor. So what I, the only thing I've done is now all of it is not filled with the same capa uh, dielectric material. Okay, so basically I'm going to have to find the capacitance of each one separately. Then I'm going to determine are they in parallel or series. Then I'm going to add them, if they're in parallel, I'm going to add them one way. If they're in series, I'm going to add them the other way, right? Now, the, 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 to, to, to think of this, here's how to picture this. They're going to be in a circuit like this, some kind of a circuit like that. So the outer cylinder is going to be, let's say, the positive, and then the inner cylinder is going to be the negative, or vice versa, okay? So let's calculate, the, uh, let's call this C1 and C2. Let's calculate the capacitance of each one. That's going to be, uh, kappa is going to be 6.7. The length is going to be 1.8 divided by 2K ln of 0.8 over 0.1, which was uh, 8, right? ln of 8. So that's going to be C1. Three point two two times 10 to the minus 12. So picofarads. Right? Then I'm going to calculate C2. So I'm going to put uh, uh, 10.5 for the dielectric constant. Then I'm going to put uh, the length is 0.014. Right?
3.93 picoperiods. So in this type of a problem, what you're doing is you're um, getting the capacitance of each one and then determining are they in parallel or series, then combining them accordingly. So are this, is this going to be in series or parallel? So what you have to determine is, okay, here's the current that's going to come, right? It's going to build some charge here. And it's going to build some charge here. <clears throat> it looks like the same thing that is happening in this kind of a situation. It's going to go like that, right? Build some charge here. But then it's going to split, build some charge there. So this charge is not going to be the same as that. But the potential difference across this must be the same as the potential difference across that. Because once I go through it, I must end up at the battery again. So this one, once I go through this, I, I come here, I must end up here. Same thing here. If I go from here to here, it must be the same potential difference. So this one is a parallel. Two capacitors in parallel. So I simply just add them. So 5, 11, 1, uh, 7. OK? Or I, I could give you the problem this way. The, I could have a capacitor, the inner radius is filled with uh, 6.7. And then the outer radius is filled with 10.5. And let's say from uh, here to here is 0.1 millimeter. From here to here, 0.3 millimeter. And then from here to here, 0.8 millimeter. So what's going to change? Right? From point 0.1 to point 0.3 is going to be one capacitor. And then from point 0.3 to point 0.8 is going to be the other capacitor. And what, they're going to be in what? Series or parallel? Yeah, you get the idea now, right? It's in series. So it's going to be uh, C1 is going to be uh, 6.7. The length is going to be 0.032. It covers the whole length. Ln of 0.3 over 0.1, which is 3. right? And then C2 is going to equal what? 10.5.032. Ln of what? 0.8 over 0.3, because it starts at 0.3 and goes to 0.8. So ln of 8 thirds. Now how do I add them? 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So I can do 1 over C tote. This is going to equal 1 over C1, so I invert that. It's going to be 18 times 10 to the 9th, ln of 3, divided by 6.7.032, plus I'm inverting both of them. 18 times 10 to the 9th, ln of 8 thirds, divided by 6.7, no, 10.5. Uh, Ten point five point oh three two. I can factor out uh, eighteen.